All right, you guys, welcome back to another U150 video. Today we're going to be taking a look at a, a loser bracket matchup between um, BLR and Bronze on Break. Now, BLR is known as the um, uh, as Blaine's Last Resort because it used to have Blaine's Last Resort. And if you haven't heard the story, it's basically just like free attackers dot deck, right? So you have Yan Mega, you have Sloking, you got Alone Eradicate, you got uh, Rotom, that sort of thing. So it's a whole bunch of free attackers. Um, against Bronzong, which is terrifying because um, generally speaking, you want to, with with um, BLR, you want to attack um, with attackers that have abilities, right? So um, you can't hex loop Bronzong Break, which is one of the things you definitely need to do to shut off that um, uh, the Electro DX ability. The one good thing, however, I think in the matchup is if you can uh, BLR is known for going really fast and if you can take a fast two knockouts um, then it's hard for uh, Bronzong to get all of those energies back like get all the energies it needs to with Electrode considering that uh, they only can Electrode then twice or they are going to lose the game right because they knock themselves out you draw two prizes so um, that's kind of how the matchup works uh, one of the worst parts about this specific matchup was the fact that Greedy started Regice. Um, and the scary part about that specifically is that I can't bench anything because he'll instantly move it and get all of his items back. So I have to try to loop Hex whilst setting up. Um, I think that's kind of the strategy. I can't just go mono Spirit Tomb because eventually he'll just like retreat into Bronzong and kill me. Um, so the idea here is to Hex to keep all the stuff off and then hopefully get something on the bench to attack with a couple times and take some early prizes that way. Um, so that is the plan. Uh, it's looking like going to be an Ultra Ball. Uh, can't imagine what attacker I would get. If I could knock out the Red Ice, it might be good. Um, but also, it, it, it's kind of on, you know, if I can knock out the Red Ice while he's under Hex and then take another knockout that's how I get those two early prizes and then maybe build up enough HP on my board to where he can't sweep um, I think one of the biggest problems is though that there there isn't a lot of HP in BLR um, I think the highest HP Pokemon is maybe like 140 on the Yon Mega Break um, it's definitely a deck that could benefit from the new Alolan Raticate GX that's one of the things that might find its way into this deck um, but in, anyways, it looks like I'm swooping into the um, Yan Mega, which is terrifying. I guess I need like a DCE of some sort because I did Hex. Um, I think I would have liked to see myself go for a... Um, would have liked to see myself go for the Slow King or the Radic... Well, the Radicate wouldn't have necessarily helped. But I would have liked to see myself go for the Slow King. I think that would have been the, the probably the best play. But regardless, it looks like it is just going to be... It looks like I'm not going to reach the swoop. It look, looks like I'm taking back the swoop. But Grady now has chance for items, so he has chance to set up. Um, he will not have a chance to blow up. That is, looks like to be an unknown Q. So an unknown quick. Can't use that ability. But it might just be another pass on Grady's part. Looks like he has some items in his hand. Next turn he knows that he can Reggie move to get the Spirit Tomb out of the active. Um, so I'm going to be looking for a way to take a knockout and Hex. I think that's just kind of what it is. Um, or just get another Hex going, right? Either one is not necessarily the worst, but um, definitely not the best start in the world to playing against BLR. Just also a bad matchup because you can't hex and play. So, looks like a secret mission. I have an N in that hand. Looks like a Bebe's. Um, I saw a, uh, a not a Baltar, a clay doll on one other card. Um, Grady's going to grab the Ooksy for next turn. And he flips heads on, looks like probably a roller skates. Uh, Evo Soda onto the Bronzong. Only thing he can evolve this turn. And I think that might be a pass then and there. We'll see. Oh, it's an energy move. Well, that's not going to do much of anything. 
And it will be a pass. So let's see what the retaliation is. They're just going to be an N. Um, not great here. I'll need a knockout of some sort. It isn't necessarily hard to get. But taking a knockout on the Regice is just not what you necessarily need. Um, so a gust of wind would be nice to get the Bronzong or even the, 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 the Voltorb. I don't think I'm going to get either of those two things here. Uh, judgment of the fact that I have not retreated yet. If I had it, I would just I would retreat right away. But um, I don't know what I'm deciding to point out there. Looks like I have a muscle band in that hand. Looks like I'm deciding how to get down to four cards. The muscle band signals that I have a knockout if I can get down to four cards. Um, which I, I guess I decided to take back the unknown. So there's muscle band fluffy. So that should be four and that is going to be a knockout. So now Grady has to pop off this turn. This turn specifically. Uh, we're counting them up. So yeah, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then however many on the active, which is five. So he needs 11 here, 11 energies, which is just two explodes, right? Because one explode puts him at nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So he needs two blow ups, which he can definitely get. It's not hard. There's the bronze on break placed incorrectly on the evolution per the greedy normal. That nest ball might go for another Voltorb or a, like the Porygon evolution of some sort. Let's see what Grady decides to grab with that. It will be the Voltorb. Oh, nope, actually the unknown. Just in case he bricks off of this, I suppose. Uh, Bronzong does have a, like a, a, a uh, more, of, it's a harder time of bricking because of uh, all the energies, whereas decks like Shiftery don't brick as often because they don't play all those energies. Um, that uh, proxy card there is a ditto, fire that read leaf green which was sitting in a different deck. I guess I don't know why we didn't switch it out. I only own one Ditto from Fire Red Leaf Green. Uh, looks like it's going to be a Junk Arm here, probably either for... Um, looks like probably for Ooxie since he's searching. Yep. It's going to be a big old Ooxie for seven. Um, looking to hit some more Voltorbs and some more Electrodes and some more Energies. I see a Timer Ball in that hand of his. Yep, he'll play that right away. Uh, I can't tell how many heads he got there, but... Looks like at least two. So the Porygon two and the um, Electrode down, which gives him a second supporter now and the Electrode. So he's going to blow up first, putting him up to, I think, eight. Yeah, so he just needs one more explode, and that will be the game. Um, just uh, not a lot on my side of the field, I suppose. Um, a Bill. Super Scoop up definitely going to help him. <laughs> Looks like uh, he's going to play a um, card flip game. Misses it. But I mean, he still has that uh, Uxie in his hand that he just scooped up. Hits heads on the Bill Teleporter, and now it's... Uh, he should have it. I see a Sabrina's Gaze, but that's kind of sketchy to play. Uh, he's going to ditto out the Voltorb. Just needs a way to evolve it now. So it's going to computer search will guarantee the evolution. So then he'll just need, I mean, that should actually guarantee the game because he could get twins, right? Because he could grab, um, he could grab battle compressor and, um, battle compressor and the electrode to get it, a way to recover. I think I'm showing Grady, like, look, you got enough cards. But I guess he goes for the straight retriever. He is cons reconsidering. The Cyrus might act. The Cyrus would also do it, right? Eight. He is thirteen. No, never mind. So yeah, there's the twins with the retriever, and looks like just an energy, and maybe he already had enough in his discard. So yep, and then there's the, the blow up, and that is enough energies on the field to wipe my board. So Bronze on Donk takes away and moves on. Thank you so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time.